I'm gonna make this joint quick just because A, I can't wear these shoes. B, the boxing is boring as hell. And C, I can't wear these shoes. Um, your boy bitch from heaven back with another unboxing video. The box is on already unboxed. The sticker wasn't even sticking good, which, okay. Fucking the, the outside box that I guess Adidas puts out. I'm not sure if Adidas puts this out or, or uh, I would imagine Adidas puts this out. So Adidas puts it in a box and then sends it to whoever the courier the courier puts it out so if this is from adidas adidas this fucking box was like uh it wasn't open but uh it was just there's something about that box. i don't even remember but something about that box um i don't remember i had my original phone runners the original phone runners period 2020 i seem to remember the box being minimalist but i also seem to remember that box having an indication like like a Yeezy the Yeezy box the 350 has um 350 on the outside the set the wave runners had like seven uh I think just seven hundreds on the outside I see the where the phone runners having that I may be incorrect but this is just a bland ass box you get like a fucking deli I mean it's kind of sturdy a little bit but I mean I don't know uh so yeah I do remember the sticker being pretty loose on this I do remember that uh, these are, I believe, the... Who gives a shit? These, these names suck. Um, it's the Light Skin Keith Sweat, uh, edition of the Foam Runners. Uh, it seems to fit how I remember it feeling. I meant to say feel originally, but we'll just act like I said it. Um, uh, so five and a half, so it's very small. Uh, men's five and a half. Well, actually a men's five, just a straight up five. So... Very small shoe. Uh, I'm not gonna give a size recommendations. I will say that I owned a 11 before selling it, and I felt like the 11 got my foot, my toe up to like here. I guess. I guess that'd be the rough equivalent. I mean, obviously it's not, you know, one on one, but um, about here I would say somewhere like here. So 11 was probably like maybe a size too big for me. If I really wanted a comfortable feel, like a, the way you would wear a croc, basically. So, I'm not going to give a recommendation because I literally can't put this, foot on my, this shoe on my foot. Hold on, let me give you a kind of frame of reference here. I wear about a 11 in every given shoe. Um, now, it looks like it's comparable because angles are deceiving. But I'm telling you that my foot is demonstrably bigger than the actual part of the shoe that you would put your foot in. You have to believe me. I'm not putting my foot in this shoe. <laughs> all right, let me try putting my foot in this shoe. All right, just all right. Let's do this. All right. So this is this is about the my heel is about where your foot would go into the shoe. So you have to understand, like, not all of this shoe in length is somewhere you could put your foot in. Like, there's parts of it, like this edge, this part, for like here. You, that that's not where your foot goes, right? It's like area where your foot wouldn't go, and then kind of towards the tip here. This like, what does that look like to you? What does that look like? Kind of part of this tip. You, that the focus on this damn my phone's good, motherfucker. Um, your toes wouldn't go there really. Now I could put my foot in this damn thing uh, probably, but the width also is not necessarily adjacent to working with my foot. If you want to see me try, this is me trying. I can't even, I put it in sideways, pause. And um, it just, I can't put that in there. I'm not putting the rest of my foot in this shoe. But that, I almost dropped it. But that was uh, my best attempt at doing so. So this is the left. Uh, and this is the right. It does appear that a tag comes in there. If you want to know, they did not attach it in the shoe itself. This is the right one. Um, Adidas. Not really much details to go off on. Whatever that is. I'm guessing that's supposed to be the... I don't know. And do keep in mind, these are like dead stock. Like, these are not... Uh, what I can tell, these are not reworn. I know that some people, like some of the ones that they may have sold, <laughs> Adidas was probably like just reworn ones, re rocked ones that were returned with like, I guess, a seven day return. Um, 
I can't tell if these have been worn. Like that menu, that that kind of that front there, this part, it looks fucked up, but I can't find any signs that this has actually been worn. So I'm just assuming that it's just it's a really shitty manufacturing which Adidas is known for. Um, let's see, can I find? Oh yeah, the foam runner tags on the inside. You can kind of see it. Wait, what the hell? Hold up. Did it just inverted the fucking shoe? What the hell? They just inverted the damn shoe. What the hell? Maybe it's so people don't rob you for the shoe. I guess maybe. But, um... Okay. There it is. Um, sure. Okay. There's the other... Ah, oh, shit. There's the rest of the box details. You, I can't even make that up if I wanted to. Uh, Adidas, some other shit, yeah. Uh, the thing it just says 2020, doesn't it? Yeah, 2020 Adidas AG. So these are probably, probably some shits they have, like, at a fucking warehouse somewhere. I hope you like my iron. Uh, I don't have, I can't always get the, uh, the shoes in the view because I'm fuck. But yeah, these are the wave runners, uh, the phone runners, the wave runners. Not the Vermilion Ractobus, which if they were the Vermilion, I'd probably find a way to put my fucking foot in there one way or the other. If you have Vermilions, you want to give them to me, give them to me, please. I will trade you my firstborn for those shoes. Peace.